Hey y'all, I'm back. I miss y'all and I told y'all I was gonna be more consistent with posting so here I am trying to do that the goal is a video a week at least um if I can do more I'm gonna do more but the goal for now is a video a week but um I am back guys and I I told y'all there would be a shift in my content and if y'all can't tell this is probably if y'all can't tell there's a shift in content and today i'm gonna do my makeup per usual but i want to talk to y'all about social media and authenticity on social media i don't really know what i'm gonna title this video but yesterday i just kind of i was on social media i've been chronically online a lot lately because i just came back home from school online on youtube on twitter on instagram you name it and on tiktok especially and it just it kind of made me want to talk about this so we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna talk about it and i'm gonna do my makeup while i talk about it because it's one of my favorite things to do also side note my mirror is right here y'all know my mirror is typically not where the camera is so i will be looking over here a lot and if y'all see me doing that my mirror is right here i have to see um so yeah i'm going to be talking about social media and authenticity on social media and how I feel like it's diminishing every day. Social media and authenticity. Social media is very, I feel like social media praises obviously trends and like, you know, things that go viral and pushing the people who look a certain way, pushing the people who have this certain body type, pushing the people who get their hair done this certain way, pushing the people who do their makeup a certain way, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, and obviously this is not just our fault because algorithms exist and algorithms do that on purpose. And um, it's not all just us pushing this certain standard of beauty or this certain standard of, you know, looks and aesthetics or whatever, but social media does play a big part in it and algorithms do, but we also play a big part in it. Like, not going to ignore that part. And I feel like, like I said, I've been chronically online and every video, a lot of stuff. On, and also, I'm kind of specifying, I'm talking about the black side of like social media. I don't really dibble and dabble on like this side of social media i'm typically on this side of social media you know what i'm saying so i'm talking about that side of social media um i i'm scrolling through videos i'm scrolling through makeup tutorials because certain typical stuff that pops on my timeline on tiktok or whatever um makeup videos hair videos um relatable like content like trends tiktok trends little photo trends like stuff like that and then every now and then it's like cooking video or something you know what i mean and recently i've been on youtube also and i've been on youtube a lot also and on youtube i've kind of been looking for i've been looking for more youtubers who not only do vlogs and like girly pop stuff but youtubers who also have substance youtubers who also talk about themselves talk about things going on talk about you know just whatever's on their mind like a, i've been looking for a good combination between amanda bb and miss nala nicole like you know what i mean like or leah lee like you know what i mean like i've been looking for a good combination of that i've been struggling to find it because in my search every time i go to a youtube channel it's like the same aesthetics the same thumbnails the same video types and i'm not saying i'm not trying to separate myself from the pack because i am a victim to this also i feel like when i first started my youtube i was kind of trying to make my thumbnails like everybody else make my video layout like everybody else make an intro like everybody else and not to say that just because you're trying to do something somebody else is doing that doesn't mean it's inauthentic because if you see something you see something somebody else is doing and you like it and you're like hmm, i want to incorporate this in my channel i want to incorporate this in my tiktok or whatever it's nothing wrong with that because 
people inspiration is a thing like it's okay to be inspired and it's okay to pull from other people because literally especially with the evolution of technology that's literally what everybody is doing pulling from other people pulling from past things and you know making it their own but it's a difference between making it your own and just carbon copying it and obviously everybody it's just everybody's gonna be different that's just human nature none of us are the same oh we got really bright i don't know what happened y'all it just got done raining and i think the sun is like shining now so hold on let me fix my camera settings okay i think that's a little bit better it was very light it was scaring me but um yeah, it's nothing wrong with like seeing something you like and making it your own, but it's also a difference between carbon copying things. And obviously, just by human nature, even if we try to copy somebody down to the T, it's not going to be exact because, you know, we all have our own way of doing things and nobody is just all the way the same. But it's noticeable. It's very noticeable when nobody is trying to make it their own it's noticeable when everybody is trying to do the exact same thing and like i said i've been looking for youtube channels and i've been searching youtube a lot searching tiktok a lot and it just it's all the same thing first of all also social media is just very saturated because of trends and because of how viral videos work and because of how algorithms work social media like I said, it's just very sat oversaturated anyway in certain areas. That's just, oh, hold on. But yeah, that's just going to happen regardless. But at the same time, it's like, can nobody be different? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, and not saying, like, it's okay to follow the trends and do whatever. But at the same time, it's like, it's like I said, it's noticeable when nobody's necessarily trying to make it their own. They're just trying to, like, copy authenticity on social media is not celebrated like people who do things differently like yes it's few pe it's a few it's a couple you know influencers who are different who are you know have very original ideas very unique ideas who do things very differently it's it's a few of them who have made a way and who are thriving who you know are gaining subscribers gaining views getting everything they deserve but i find that a lot of creators on social media who do things differently and who try to step outside the box and who don't look like everybody else who make content that's different than everybody who da 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 people think they're weird and i just think that's weird because i'm like what happened to authenticity like what happened to people being different and being celebrated like i don't understand it's like people now if you're different you're kind of outcast and i just I don't like it and it's like how did we get here like how did the people who were trying to be original who were trying to be different how did they become the weird ones I don't understand how did how did they become the weird ones that doesn't make sense to me um and oh my god I pulled off so much foundation it's ridiculous and moving on to what i really want to say um like i said it's like the people who are trying to be different the people who look different the people who are you know different and the people who talk about different things and who don't make content the same as everybody else and who don't wear their hair like everybody else does everybody is always saying oh we want something original we want we want somebody we want somebody different we want something original we want some we want a breath we want the creator that's a breath of fresh air we want new we want originality it's like everybody is always screaming originality originality but the people who are actually original get no credit I don't get it like y'all can't keep screaming this y'all my thing is y'all keep screaming oh we want originality we want originality y'all don't want originality y'all don't like we don't have to keep acting like y'all do y'all don't y'all don't want originality y'all don't want somebody who actually thinks outside the box y'all don't want y'all don't want that just be honest y'all don't want that and that's okay you don't you don't have to act like you do like it's definitely possible 
that the content a lot of other people make you really enjoy it and you want to make content like that as well or the way they do their hair the 30 inch middle part bust down you like 30 inch middle part bust down the baddie ig baddie makeup you like that makeup that doesn't mean you're not being you're being inauthentic because you like that type of makeup or you do that type of thing that's not what i'm saying but i do find it the people who actually are interested in that type of thing the people who actually are really into makeup really into wigs really into hair really into whatever it's like they're the ones who are innovating they're the ones who started trends they're the ones who you know you know what i'm saying they're the ones starting this stuff and when they innovate when they create different trends like all of the girl the the color eyelashes y'all always get on them like oh this not cute this mm, mm, mm. i don't like mm. let's leave this one in there y'all you could have left this alone but then soon as it blow up and a favorite influencer of yours does it when jada way to do it then it's cute then it's cute but when the people who created it was doing it, it wasn't cute that you wanted them to lead it. I, I don't, like, I'm sorry. I hate y'all. Like, what? <laughs> I saw this video of this girl doing her makeup and she put her blush on when with her like contour map it was a it was this blush I think it was a very pigmented blush and she blended the blush out and then she did her concealer to tone it down and that is so smart I'm gonna try it right now Ooh, y'all the way this concealer is blending out I'm actually so happy with it and I've said all that to say, literally, I've seen some of the effects of this, like, play out in real life. Like, I've seen people get made fun of and talked about because they wear their hair a certain way or their hair isn't, um, they ain't got no bust down middle part. Or I've seen people talk about people because they don't look like everybody else does. And I'm still myself unlearning it because, like... Like I said, I consume a lot of media. I grew up in a generation where we consume a lot on social media. And social media, we grew up with it. Like, it's kind of, like, it's very, we grew up with social media. We grew up learning all of these things. And I grew up looking at social media. And in middle school, if I saw somebody who didn't look like this or who didn't have their hair in the style, I'd be like, mm. It's like, it's nothing wrong with somebody because they're not participating in the trends. And also, y'all, stop letting trends run y'all life. Like, stop letting trends run y'all's life, please. Like, just because somebody don't got on the latest trend don't mean they're any less of a cool person or any like literally y'all please stop letting trends run y'all life like i i literally y'all i'm telling y'all i watch this happen in tr in real time especially being in college please stop letting trends run y'all life and literally the people who you're making fun of for not being on trend or the people who you're making fun of for wearing old trends or being interested in something that's not popular anymore they have more originality than you do because why are you letting what you see on social media dictate how you think somebody else should look and it's like i'm saying all this but i literally understand why y'all are acting like that because that's how social media is built like it's like i want to be mad at y'all but i just wish y'all would unlearn it and be better because I understand that that's that's how social this is how social media is built and it's built like this on purpose but at the same time I am mad at y'all still because y'all have to get a grip cuz social media is not real life literally social media is not real <laughs> like literally I know some stuff we can apply to real life, but social media is literally not real, y'all. It's what it is. It's social media is not real life, and it's not. You shouldn't expect people because you see it on the screen to act like that in real life or to be like that in real life. Social media is a place where people come and they show things, and it used to be that honestly, but it's turning into something completely different than what it was originally supposed to be. But even then, y'all still like, 
because it's social media is not real that's kind of the point to all of my girls who are original and who don't try to follow all the trends and who don't look like everybody else and who you know whatever y'all it is nothing wrong with y'all fuck the people and met and fuck the people who got something to say about what y'all wear or whatever because y'all social media is not real and the people who make it fun of you they just they literally have not gotten a grip on real life yet like that's they that's what it is they haven't gotten a grip on real life literally oh my god my battery is gonna die hold on i'm gonna change the battery and i'm gonna come back y'all i might have lashes on sorry okay new battery in Lashes are on. Like I said, they will probably be on already. Um, I already set my face where I put my lashes on. That looks good. Okay. Now, let's see what this pink. Y'all, this pink is the NYX, if y'all want to know. It's the NYX Butter Gloss. It's in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. I don't know why it's called Vanilla Cream Pie and it's literally pink. But, okay. Um... <laughs> Maybe I just don't know what a vanilla cream pie is supposed to look like. But it's very light. So I'm not going to put a lot. Y'all see that? I kind of don't like it. So I think I'm going to take it off. Okay. But y'all, this is the finished makeup look. I kind of don't like the lip. But I'm going to make some TikToks. So before I make the TikToks, I'll probably fix the lip. I just want to take the middle off. Because I thought the, the pink would... I don't like it. If y'all have any comments on, you know, the topic at hand or whatever, comment down below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And um, I'll see y'all next week. And yeah. Love y'all. Bye.